two problem from partial differentiation and we start from the last one if you this is a for 2x minus 3y 3y minus 4z comma 4z minus 2x then the value of half into del u del x plus one third into del u del y plus one fourth into del u del z which is given by four options here we use the chain rule chain rule of partial derivative okay now we first take this is equal to p this is equal to q and this is equal to r then clearly u this is a for p comma q comma r and we have to find out the value of del u del x del u del y and del u del z okay we find out one by one we first find out del u del x which is given by del f by del p into del p by del x plus del f by del q into del q by del x plus del f by del r into del r by del x this is the chain rule of partial derivative because p q r are the function of x y z and f is also a function of x y z now this is del f by del p into this is del p by del x from here we get del p by del x this is equal to obviously 2 because the partial derivative of y or 3y with respect to x is 0 so we put here 2 plus del f by del q into this is obviously 0 because q is independent of x there is no x in the expression of q so this is 0 plus del f by del r into del r by del x this is obviously minus 2 this is minus 2 so we get the result that half into del u del x this is given by del f del p minus del f del r ok we get the first expression of the required expression and similarly by using the same chain rule we can find easily that one third into del u del y this is given by this is given by we get from here del f by del p minus this is del f by del q this is negative and this is positive because here 3 into minus 3 into y and here 3 into y and this is independent of y and similarly the third expression this is one fourth del u del y this is given by what is the value this is del z psi this is del z this is obviously minus del f by del q plus del f by del r ok now adding this this and this clearly we get that the right left side is this and right side is this expression plus this expression plus this expression so we get del f by del p here we get minus del f by del p this and this cancel out del f by del q and del f by del q cancel out del f by del r del f by del r cancel out so our required result is 0 so option number 4 is correct ok very simple but using chain rule of partial derivative ok now we go to the first one in the first problem it is given that if u this is sine inverse x plus 2y plus 3z by x to the power 8 plus y to the power 8 plus z to the power 8. Then the value of x into del u del x plus y into del u del y plus z into 
dilute digit is given by 4 percent. Okay. We first write this function as sin u, this is x plus 2y plus 3z by x to the power 8 plus y to the power 8 plus z to the power 8. Okay. And clearly this is a function of degree minus 7. How we find this degree? If we put x equal to xt, y equal to yt and z equal to zd in this expression, then we, we can take in common from numerator st and denominator st to the power 8. Okay, so we get t to the power minus 7 into this expression. Here is also this expression same and this expression is right here. And this power that is the tth power is said to be the degree of the equation or degree of the expression. So we get this is of degree 7. Now we use Euler, Euler's law of partial derivative of homogeneous function. Okay. And this law says that if f of x, y, z is a homogeneous function of degree n, this law says that x into del f by del x plus y into del f by del y plus z into del f by del z this is equal to nf okay this is the Euler's law now here we get sin u in place of f so using Euler's law we can write that x into del del x of sin u plus y into del del y of sin u plus z into del del z of sin u this is minus 7 into sin u because f is here sin u now from here differentiating we get x into cos u into del u del x plus y into cos u into del u del y and from here z into cos u into del u del z. This is minus 7 sin. Okay. So x del u by del x plus y del u by del y plus z del u by del z which is obviously given by minus 7 into 10 and clearly this option in our option number D. So both D option are correct for these two problem. Okay, this type of problem may become in your next exam like SLST, SSC or another exam and these two are very very important type of problem from partial difference section. Okay, thank you and keep watching math A to Z.